So we're going to create a button that clears a cell or a range of cells. So we'll start off by clearing a single cell, then a range of cells, then non-consecutive cells, then a selection of cells, and then cells on another sheet. So we'll have a button on this sheet that clears the cells on this sheet. And then we'll look at creating a button that clears all the sheets within a workbook. Okay. First of all, one thing you should know is that if you're going to create macros within your workbook, you do need to save the workbook as a macro enabled workbook. So when you go to file, save, I'll go to save as, your file type needs to be Excel macro enabled workbook dot XLSM. You can't save it as a normal workbook. The other thing is you do need to show the developer tab on your ribbon. It won't show by default. So to get it to appear, just right click on one of the other tabs, customize the ribbon, and then you need to tick this option here, developer. So on the developer tab, you need to go over to your Visual Basic button, or you can use the shortcut key Alt F11, and that'll open up the Visual Basic editor. Then what you need to do is insert a module. So you go up to insert and then module. That'll create a module for you within the current project. And that will also give you a code window now, if your code window doesn't have this text at the top, don't worry, you don't need to type it in. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is split my screen. So I've got Excel on one side of the screen and the Visual Basic Editor on the other. Now, I'm just going to give myself a bit more space for the code. And to start writing a macro in the Visual Basic Editor, you start with the word sub and then give the macro a name. So I'm going to call this clear single cell, open bracket, close bracket, press enter, and it should say end sub. And then between these two lines, you're gonna write your code. And in fact, we only need one line of code for this. We need to refer to the cell that contains the content we want to clear. And that cell on this sheet is cell D3. So what I do is I write range, open bracket, and in quotation marks, the address of that cell. Then I close the bracket, then I put a full stop in and I write clear. Now you can see that there's quite a few clear options here. Clear would literally clear everything in the cell. It would clear the formatting, it would clear the formulas, it would clear hyperlinks, comments, everything. I just want to clear the contents, so I'm gonna to go to clear contents. If I wanted to test that this macro was working, what I would do is I click on this little play button or the run button and you can see it clears the content. I'm going to put my text back in because you want a button that will clear that contents. So what you do is you go to your developer tab and then to this insert button and under form controls click on this button button. So I'm going to draw my button over here and then you choose the macro that you want to run with this button and then you can overtype this default text. Clear form or something like that. So if I click outside the button and then click on it again, it will clear the contents of that cell. Okay, let's move on to the next sheet. So I want to clear all of these cells. So I'm gonna write another sub procedure, clear range open bracket, close bracket, press enter. And I'm going to put my code between these two lines. So I start off in the same way, I say range, open bracket. But then just like in Excel, to express a range, you'd start with the first cell, so that'd be C9, in my example, colon, and then the last cell. So that's F22, in my example. And that all goes in those quotation marks. And then it's just dot clear, and I'll go for contents again. Let's create a button again for this. So developer tab, insert, full controls button. Draw a button. Choose your macro. Click on OK. Type in your text, clear data. Click outside it, click on it, and it clears those cells. 
If ever you want to change the text on this button, just right click, edit text. And there I need to resize it, so I'd right click again. And then once I've right clicked, I can adjust the size of the button. Now, let's move on to the next sheet. Here I want to clear non-consecutive ranges. So for that, I go to sub, clear multiple ranges. And I'll start off in the same way again, open bracket, open quotation marks, and then I put in my first range. So my first range is B2 colon C5, comma, then I'm gonna to refer to this cell here, which is E3, comma, and then the last range down here, which is E11 to F13. Then I close the quotation marks. Close the bracket, dot clear. And this time I'm gonna clear everything, just to show you what that does. So we'll create a button, but we're gonna use a shape for our button this time. So I'm gonna to go to Insert, Illustrations, Shape. It doesn't matter what shape you use, let's use a arrow. So I'll draw the arrow, then I'll right click, Assign Macro, choose my macro, click on OK, and I can type into the arrow, Clear All Data. Click outside the button and click on it and it will clear all the contents, including the formats. Okay, next example, clear selection. So what I want to be able to do is select some cells and only clear the cells that I've selected. Give myself a little bit of space here. So we'll call this one clear selection. And instead of range, you write selection dot clear contents or whatever you want to clear. So let's put a little button. It'll be clear selection. Just write clear on this button. So now if I select something, click on clear, it clears my selection. Okay, now, next one is I want to create a button on this sheet, which will clear the data on this sheet. So, what I need to do is understand how to refer to that sheet that I want to clear the data on. Now, the sheet is called clear cells on this sheet. The most reliable way of referring to that sheet is to use the code name for the sheet, which is sheet five. So to refer to the sheet, I just write the sheet code name in, that's sheet five, dot, then I put the range of cells that I want to clear on that sheet. So it'd be range, open bracket, open quotation mark, C3, comma, E3 colon F6. Close quotation marks, close bracket, dot, clear, contents. So I'll create a button on this sheet. Clear specific sheet. If I click on this button and then look at the sheet, you can see it's cleared the data on that sheet. Okay, we're gonna look at one more scenario where we want to clear all the content on each of the sheets in our workbook. Now to do that, I'm gonna to have to open up another workbook that still has all this data in. So this workbook has all of the data. I have this extra sheet called Clear All Sheets. I want to create a button on here that clears the data on each of these sheets. So I'm going to open up the Visual Basic Editor and I'm going to split my screen. Create a bit of room for myself. So sub clear 
all sheets. Now for this Mac Pro, I'm going to loop through each worksheet in the workbook. I'm going to use a for each next loop for this. To use a for each next loop, I do need to declare a variable for the worksheets in the workbook. So I'll call this WS as worksheet. And then I use my for each next loop. So for each worksheet in this workbook dot worksheets, the collection of worksheets in this workbook, next worksheet. And then the code that I'm going to run in each loop is worksheet dot used range. It's the used range of sales on each worksheet dot clear contents. So I'll create a button. Clear all sheets. And then if I click on that button, have a look at the sheets, you can see all of the sheets have been cleared of data. Okay, that's all I wanted to cover in this particular video. Hopefully that's useful. If it is, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe and I'll see you next video.